Clemson today. Sports director Beth Hull is in Memphis with the Tigers as they now prepare to take on number three Baylor on Sunday. Not only is this the first win for the Clemson Tigers since 2018, but it's also just their second largest margin of victory ever at the NCAA tournament. Nearly wire to wire, this is exactly the type of win that the Clemson players say they knew they were capable of. When our name was called, man, I think that once our name was called, it was kind of like, you know, like, we're ready for this. You know, I was fired up going to this one. Um, you know, I had a chip on my shoulder. I was ready to compete. We didn't know it would be like that, but um, we were ready to come out especially after what happened last game and, uh, you know, give them a good punch. And, uh, you know, we started off a good league, kind of held it and um, stayed that way the whole game. That feeling of getting it done unmatched. This is a good feeling. I, I can't describe it. It's, like, it's not like a word for it, but it just, it's like a different type of confidence inside of you that just comes about your body. So uh, it's, it's a good feeling, though. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, it's kind of monkey up our back and we're uh, ready. We're ready. Well, this is an unbelievable win for us. You know, we play in March. Uh, this is what you play for all season. So um, you can't take it for granted, especially a guy like me. Um, this is my last chance and my last opportunity. So um, every single time we win, it's going to be unbelievable from here on out. It's great to be able to stay here and uh, play against Sunday. Clemson, the only sixth seed in this year's NCAA tournament to advance out of the first round. Those other three all losing on Thursday to 11 seeds. And Clemson was widely picked to be another one of those upsets, but the Tigers are saying they never listen to those naysayers. And they're certainly not going to start listening to the outside noise now as they become an underdog on Sunday, facing off against number three, Baylor. Reporting in Memphis for Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Beth Poole. Well, Clemson fans have waited a long time to see their Tigers play in the big dance. The program's last trip was in the COVID bubble, and so it was 2018 when Clemson fans could sit in the stands. Many made the trip to Memphis to show their support. This is my favorite sporting event on the planet, and, and it's extra special when Clemson's in it. So. My money and my son goes to Clemson. Yeah, I graduated May. I was really conflicted about the game, like whether to wear my Lobo gear or Clemson gear. <laughs> Lifetime Lobo fan, but got to go for my school. It's a thrill. I've been to what five? San Diego. Yeah, we went to San Diego last time. They won two games. So hopefully, we'll bring them good luck again. You know. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool. I went to a game earlier this season, saw them lose in Notre Dame, so that was tough. It's definitely cool to see the team in the playoffs. I live in Atlanta. Decided last night to let's, let's come over here and watch us play. Go Tigers! <laughs> Pretty good turnout there for the Tigers. If you're thinking about joining your fellow Tiger fans in Memphis, flight leaving tomorrow, returning Monday, will cost upwards of about a thousand bucks. The drive, though, eight hours.